Cheers. This is a Pre Love Chica lockdown special, basically inspired by my radio show today, where I interviewed John Hammond from St Elizabeth Hospice, and he told me that he's been a volunteer there for a few years, and he loves it. And I thought, you know what? Tonight I'm going to do a video because uh, during the lockdown uh, when there was that time between lockdown one and lockdown two where you could go in the charity shops I went into mostly St Elizabeth Hospice I have to say and I bought lots of things and I put them in bags and I left them in the boot of my car because I thought what I want to do is open them up as if it was Christmas and um, see what I've bought because I can't remember what's in these bags. I literally have got three very large bags that are full of stuff. There's one. There's one. <laughs> oh, this is heavy. There's two. And there's three. Okay, so like I said, I've got no idea what's in these bags. So I thought I would share with you what I've purchased. It'll be a crazy lightning tour um, um, exposition of what's in the bags and I hope you enjoy it. A little bit of a lockdown special. When the charity shops open up again I'm going to urge you to go in there and check out the things. I'm sure a percentage of this stuff will go back to the charity shop because I can't be 100% um, certain I'm going to like everything. <laughs> okay so without further ado let's take a look. Oh, I remember these. I got them in scents, actually. They're beautiful. They're stretchy, almost like leggings. Long trousers, cotton, and they were a pound. Yeah. So I, I need to try them on. I haven't tried those on. Well, you can't try anything on now in the charity shops. It's impossible. Oh, I remember this. I love this. It's like a beautiful brown jumper. Beautiful, beautiful. And what I liked about it was look at the sleeves. Can you see? I wonder if the light will catch it. There's holes in the sleeves and then matching holes in the bottom part of this jumper. Superb. And I like the v-neck. And again, that was a pound reduced. So beautiful. Um, what's the make of this? Debbie Morgan. Yeah. Keeper. Actually, they go together, don't they? I had no plans, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. This. oh, yeah, I love this time of year. Like T-shirts, long sleeve T-shirts for jogging, for underneath, for layering up. This is a beautiful colour. Okay, um, Florence F and F Tesco's, I think that is. It was a pound, um, and yeah, as we get into the winter, layering. So that is definitely going to be a keeper. I like lots of different colours, etc. Oh gosh, I remember buying this. <laughs> this is so crazy. Thinking about my trips to the Far East that I've got planned. Look at that, that t-shirt, what do you think of that? What's it got on it? It's got a little bit of um, sparkle, which is obviously attractive to me. And um, yeah, it's some sort of newspaper report. I don't know if uh, that person is famous, Lady Gaga. Is that Lady Gaga? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't obviously buy it for that. And that was two pound quite a uh, slinky kind of material. Quite like that. So far I'm pleased with everything but I'm sure in amongst this lot there'll be things I wouldn't like. Oh my gosh. Oh this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Another sense purchase. Oh my gosh I love this because I do wear a lot of cardigans. Look at that. Cardigan with a bit of bling. Let me bring the bling which is like almost like you could say it's a lotus flower, maybe or maybe not. So there's two of those, and it feels like really good quality. 
really does feel like heavy, great quality cardigan. So that is gorgeous. And the list goes on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not sure about this now. I'm not sure about the colour. It's got a bit creased. When things crease, I really don't like it. Um, it's two pound, but actually the make of it, can you see there? Maybe you can't see there, but it's Hobbs. So, you know, maybe I'm going to try and try a few things on if I can. Um, let's just see what this looks like, because I obviously, I seem to remember that I tried this on when I was in the shop. You're not supposed to try things on, but I just looked on top of what I was wearing. And, um, yeah, what do you think? Maybe it is a keeper. I think the colour quite suits me. Just the creasy nature of things. I don't like it when things look creased out of the bag. Never a good plan. So yeah, it's got a little bit of a tie, wrap around and a tie. What do you think? Do you like the colour? It's not bad, is it? So I think, yes, keeper. So far nothing's going back in the bag <laughs> for recycling. So Check that out. So exciting this is. Oh my god, there's another sparkly thing. Oh my word. Oh, I got this from St. Elizabeth Hospice, the one on Foxhall Road. And I met my dear friend Sheila Bloom there when I was um, shopping. I hadn't seen her for ages and she said, hi. But I think what I loved about this, actually she was going to go and pick it up. I said, oh, I've got that. And then I looked and I realised it was her. She was wearing a mask. And that's the problem when people are wearing masks, you can't recognise them. Wow. 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 Look at those sleeves. I'm not quite sure if this is too big for me. Not quite sure about that. But the sparkle, it's like there's a huge feather running down the whole length of the arm. Ooh, yeah. I feel really cosy with this one. I'm going to keep this on. Oh, there's more. This is the first bag, by the way, guys uh, and girls. <laughs> pair of trousers, stretchy, cotton, summery, three quarters. I actually got a pair like this and they're amazing. Maybe not quite this colour. Actually, do you know what? I should have my glasses on and I'm not sure. I'm just going to go and get my glasses. Hold on, don't go anywhere. Here I am back. I haven't stopped and started the video, I'm just spontaneously going from one thing to another. Um, Zafiri, a pound. Um, beautiful cotton trousers. Lovely. Can't go wrong, can you, when things are a pound. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Another pair of trousers. A little bit of uh, print, animal print going on here. Well, I will need to try these on. A pound. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, why would you ever want to buy anything new? Why on earth would you? So, who knows? This might be, or it might be, depending on how they fit around the stomach. We'll see. I'm um, getting to the end of the first bag. Getting to the first bag. Woo! Goodness me, what is this? What is this? Oh my God, it's a dress. Do you know what? It's a dress. And I have got a black dress like this, with sleeves like this. And it's really comfortable to wear. So, you know, I think maybe purple is a very spiritual, restful colour. And I think that could be something really nice to wear as we're getting into the season. It's £2 and it's Wallace. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try that on and hopefully it looks just as good as my black dress that I've got, same kind of style. Quite heavy, quite heavy. And uh, I think there's one other thing in here, it's a necklace. And I don't know why, shiny, beautiful. I'm getting mesmerised by that, look at that. Yeah, what a beautiful necklace probably a pound it's glass made of glass that's the first bag are you still okay shall i carry on yeah <laughs> right i'm gonna push that a little bit over 
I'm ten tempted to have a glass of sip of wine so I think I will because I know it's Wednesday night but during the lockdown days all seem different you know the weekends don't seem like weekends anymore because there's no differentiation so cheers everyone this is beautiful Zinfandel wine 15% mm, from my new favorite place to buy wine Obi's mm. Gorgeous. Okay, so what's in the bag? Yeah, I do remember getting this from St. Elizabeth Hospice, £2.50. I wasn't sure about this because it had a little bit of stitching that was coming undone, but it's so full of sparkles and um, the light that shines when you wear this. I thought this might bring some cheer when I wear it. So I probably will just go through it and just try and sort out all the bits like that. See that there? Yeah, I'll try and sort of tidy that up. I wasn't sure. I thought there's a chance that it won't look right or I might be able to repair it. So that's why I took a risk with that one and delighted. Oh my God. Now this is not from a charity shop. It's from my friend, Marissa, who gave this to me. She said she doesn't like it. It doesn't suit her. She doesn't like the neck. She gave it to me. It's an all-in-one jumpsuit and I haven't tried it on yet. So that's what I need to do. It's got a belt. I'll need to try it on and see if it works for me. It smells beautiful, Marisa. Freshly washed. So that was a gift from her. I need to get in here and have a closer look. Oh, now why on earth did I buy that? Look at that. It's a heart, heart money box. Put your money in there. Uh, I'm into anything. I'm, I'm in Corazon, um, anything to do with heart shape. It's really appealing to me. So I think that's why I picked that up. And obviously I can save some money into the bargain. And that was £1.50 from St. Elizabeth Hospice. Right. Yeah. Okay, so um, when Marisa gave me that uh, leg or that all-in-one jumpsuit, she returned this. I'd let her borrow this uh, top because she wanted to, she loved it, but it didn't really suit her. Uh, and I said, well, I'll have it back because with those lips, those diamante lips, I've got a beautiful denim jacket that I'm actually thinking of sewing those lips onto the back of it. It's a project project for the winter. Oh goodness me, another pair of trousers. What were they? Three pound. Super stretched. It says super stretch with love. They are gorgeous in the end. I might wear these tomorrow. Oh and look, I didn't notice this when I bought them. There's a little sparkly diamante heart on the back. I wonder what make these are. It doesn't say. Um, but beautiful. I love stretchy leggings like that. Lovely. Sort of a stone colour. A bit creased. Things have been in this bag for weeks and weeks. Oh, oh no, I shouldn't have bought this. I know. St. Elizabeth Hospice down at the warehouse. What possessed me to buy this, I do not know. I really seriously do not know. Um, Vera and Lucy. I'm going to get a bit crazy now with trying things on. I don't want to have layer upon layer upon layer upon layer, so I'm going to take that off. Right, and I'm going to show you this. Why did I buy this? I don't think I'm ever going to wear it. But here we go. Let me just show you. What do you think? Very, 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 very smart. A very, very smart jacket. But, I mean, would I? Could I wear this? Maybe I could. Maybe, you know, I was wrong to think I'll never wear it. Actually, looking down, it feels quite nice. Let's leave this on. Um, now, I've got no idea. There's a few things in here that are not close. So I'm going to put those to one side. Oh, oh gosh, clunk. Because this is all about the clothes that I've brought, ideally. Um, yeah. I remember buying this, St. Elizabeth Hospice again, and £2. And I did think, 
this may be a little bit too big for me, but it's the most beautiful, warm gilet. Um, what is fascinating about this, what I loved about it, is it is completely reversible. So if one day, you know, you fancied you know, a little bit of a dark, sombre colour, go that side. If, on the other hand, you felt like, oh my goodness, I want a little bit of silver and a bit of jazz, turn it around. And what was it? Two pound. Unbelievable. Oh, I love this. I've forgotten about this. I love this. You know, if you've ever watched any of my shows, you'll know that I love a mini. Look at that mini. Look at that. Blue is not my colour, but actually it's very warm, toasty. I love the fact it's got zips on either side and that was £3. And the make was, in fact, was a George, but it's all fully lined. Has it ever been? Well, it, it probably has been warm, but it doesn't look like it's been warm at all. Oh, bling. I've got a bling dress. Again, sitting this one past this. Now, mm, where would I wear this? Is it gorgeous? Isn't it fresh? It's, I love the sleeves. I'm very much into longer, well, something with a bit of sleeve right now. I love the bottom. Love the attention to detail, love that. Um, boho night, boho night. What is it? Hang on, let's get that right. Yeah, <laughs> boo hoo. <laughs> Look at the, the beading there. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. I think that colour suits me. And do you know what? Guess a pound. Yeah, a pound. Um, ooh! Completely different colour, not my usual colour, but another one of those t-shirts that is always good to have in stock. Bright lime green v-necks, a bit more summery, uh, um, but oh, stunning colour, stunning, 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 stunning colour. And again, I guess that would be a pound, 125, 125. Um, oh, there's two more. Oh. Shall I show you? Yeah, why not? And then I'll finish on here. Finish on here. Um, oh, got some hold up stockings. Hold up stockings. Hmm. Yeah, how much were they? I'm not sure. Nothing, probably. Two pounds. And, oh, yeah. I got a Victorian house. I've got a couple of doors with handles that are a bit dodgy. So I actually managed to find in St. Elizabeth Hospice some um, doorknobs sparkly shiny doorknobs i'm just looking for somebody now who's going to be able to fit these for me so get in touch if you're a diy and you'd like to fix my doorknobs um and uh what was in here oh yeah uh, i think i've shown you before now that i'm really keen on picture frames because i do art and i frame the art and um yeah uh, obviously I think this was in like 50p. It was in the 50p section. I'll, I'll obviously I don't want I won't, won't be wanting um, to have these images. I'll put one whole piece of art in there and probably give that as a gift over Christmas. So 15, 18 minutes long this video. I hope you stuck with me, and I hope you will go charity shopping when lockdown two ends and we can all go back out great way to find wonderful gifts for people for christmas great way to support your local charity the hospice does a marvelous job and it's fun the clothes you're going to get are clothes that no one else is going to have and um i for one feel that it's the most fun thing i can do with my life and it makes me happy so i hope I hope I've made you happy watching this today and any comments leave them below uh, if there's anything you particularly liked in amongst all my um, purchases do let me know until next time obviously it's going to be a while because the charity shops are all closed right now but the next time I'm sure I'll find some more wonderful bargains to share with you bye for now